So this has been by far my hardest hitch yet. It's Sunday morning, so everybody's back to work. And tomorrow is a holiday, so everybody's thinking back to work, but thinking about what they have to do for tomorrow. And uh, I'm on a very busy highway to get to, which goes right by my friend's little town. Um, so yeah, it's been really rough and I had a really good sleep last night on the Trail Angels couch. It was really comfy, but for some reason I just can't stop yawning, which probably is not helping my hitching prospects. But one guy did say that if he wasn't just like doing a turn off of the ne at the next uh, exit, he would have ta <laughs> taken me. But um, yeah, so far a lot of no luck. Well, I gave up on the hitch. Probably a good thing because uh, I've been waiting for about 45 minutes and there was a lot of full cars. I guess families going on holiday. Um, in addition to everybody busy and so on. So I caught the next bus that said that it was stopping at my uh, intersection. Probably a good thing as well, just because by the time I caught the bus was about quarter to ten. And I definitely, probably definitely will have to walk for a couple of kilometers from here, from the intersection to my friend's place. So I don't want to leave that too late with the sun too high. So it's about ten o'clock right now, so it's still manageable and um, I'm almost there and feel much better. So there we go, that's today. Jules, running out of battery power, but this one's for you. Irrigation lines and some kind of cultivation of something. Well, I made it to my friend's place and um, I'm so sorry. I had a few specific things I wanted to talk to you about today. But um, I needed to help my friend preparing for Sukkot. And then all of a sudden there were so many people here and I ate too much. And now I can't remember what I wanted to tell you. So I'm so sorry today is not much. Um, not much of a video today. But I will try to sleep on it and remember what all that was that I wanted to tell you. Because there was some delicious irony about something but I can't remember what it was. So hopefully I will remember and I'll tell you about it tomorrow. But for now, Chag Sameach and Laila Tov. Bokatov. Okay, well it's almost afternoon now really, but Bokatov anyways. Um, yeah, so yesterday was quite a balagan. Um, I made it, like I said, to my friend's place and I helped her set up for Sukkot dinner. And then suddenly there was like over 20 people here and lots and lots and lots of food. And um, so I've re I think I've recovered. I slept well last night and I think I've recovered from my, from eating so much. But um, now I'm sitting in the sukkah, which is where we had our dinner last night. And... Um, so Sukkot is the, the celebration, the Jewish holiday where they celebrate the really what may be better known in some circles as the Feast of Tabernacles, which is when in the Bible God commanded the Israelite people to live in temporary shelters every year for eight days, seven days or eight days. Um, in order to commemorate the time that they spent wandering in in the wilderness. And um, so actually normally every year around this time I um, go camping <laughs> back home. So here's the delicious irony I mentioned last night was that I'm in Israel and I'm actually sleeping in the house where when I, I'm in, back home I'm usually camping at this time and actually sleeping in a sukkah, <laughs> my tent, um, which is probably not rabbinically kosher as a sukkah because of the rabbinic rules they have about what applies to a sukkah, but 
far as I'm concerned, it's a temporary shelter and it applies as my soka. But um, anyway, so here we're in this soka and they, it's a big thing to decorate it really um, nicely with a lot of fruits and vegetables and de various decorations and um, pomegranates. I love pomegranates. This is the time of year for pomegranates. So you see them everywhere. And um, what else? That's about it. It's the next sort of seven or eight days, eight days, I guess. Um, Jews in Israel and all around the world will set up these um, sukkahs uh, in their yards. Um, in a lot of places where they live in apartment buildings or whatever, they'll often set them up on their balconies. So that's all part of the, uh, the holy days that um, are commanded to be commemorated in the Bible. And that is a pomegranate. That's actually not real. But um, yeah, it's one of the decorations. So they um, celebrate it for eight days and they eat in the sukkahs and they spend time in the sukkah and um, generally each family has their own and they'll spend time at friends and family's sukkahs and some people will actually sleep in the sukkah but mostly they they just eat and spend time in the sukkahs so that's what's happening now for the next eight days and uh maybe if um if i can get some more sukkahs on on uh video while i'm hiking along i'll try to point them out to you other than that, today is kind of a rest day, and I'm trying to take care of my feet. I told you that, oops, I told you that um, I was having some issues with my feet, so I don't know if you can see that. There, there's various abrasions, nothing serious, just, um, oh, there's a big blister right there. Can you see that? Um, and the, the right foot is a little bit swollen because a couple of days ago, or a few days ago, there was a day I was just really tired. I had been battling heat exhaustion for a couple of days and I really badly needed a rest day. And I just wasn't being careful about where and how I stepped. And so I must have done something to twist a muscle or something in my in my toe on my right foot so that's been kind of sore I've been icing that a lot over these last couple of days and um, just really happy to take a plan mostly a planned rest day today was the planned rest day yesterday I was supposed to do some hiking but there was there was no way that was gonna happen and especially with my feet hurting it wasn't wasn't gonna happen. So as you saw, I um, I walked a little bit to the bus stop and then did not succeed catching a hitchhike. So I took the bus and then walked a little more from the bus stop to my friend's place. So that was all the hiking I did yesterday and none of that was official trail miles. Um, so I'm just, just trying to take care of my feet a little bit and tomorrow morning, um, my friend goes to work and I continue on the spiel. So just trying to figure out where would be the best place to catch up, catch the spiel back up again. And um, really would love to do some more beach walking and maybe even sleep on the beach, but don't know if that's going to happen right now. Um, and then next is Tel Aviv. And I'm probably going to skip most of Tel Aviv just because the Shvil goes through the city and um, it's probably just going to be easier for me, a good spot for me to gain some time and just take a, a bus over to um, to where it's going to join with the Shvil where it climbs to Jerusalem and that's going to be the thing over the next few days. There's going to be a lot of climbing and the heat hasn't gone anywhere. In fact, today it's very hot already. And my friend was telling me that they've promised 35 degrees today. That's without the humidity. Um, so I'm really, really happy that I'm not actually hiking today. And uh, hopefully tomorrow is gonna be a bit better. Um, 
definitely in the next few days. And as I get up closer to Jerusalem, it's higher up, so it's not going to be quite as hot and maybe a little bit less humid as well. Um, but, uh, but still, it's a lot of uphill. <laughs> And with that pack on my back, that's it's a lot of work. And um, it doesn't have to be very hot to feel very hot. <laughs> so the rest of today, um, mostly gonna rest and do some videos and um, touch base later. And uh, we'll see you again later today and tomorrow. Oh yeah, and um, the other thing I forgot to mention was that in regard to what's going on with my feet is um, I'm loving the Injinji socks. They've been really great. I haven't had any blisters or any chafing or rubbing between my toes. Um, I have two pairs and I decided to order them in the different weights and one is the lightweight new wool and the other is the original weight new wool. Um, and the lightweight new wool poked a hole in the toe really quickly and um, then, so, but that's been okay. I've been living with that for the last couple of weeks. Um, but the other thing that I noticed the other day was when I thought that there was some sand or grit in my shoe and I took my shoe off to, um, to check it out, there, it actually wasn't any sand or grit. It's blown a hole in the bottom of the sole and uh, the other one hasn't yet but it clearly is about to um, so I'm not liking the um, there you can't see this but um, it's it's kind of wearing thin right th right there although you can't see that um, right there so that's gonna blow a hole very quickly um, so I, I really like the socks in general, um, but for this purpose, I think the original weight is better and they've held out so far. I don't think I've actually worn them maybe as much as the lightweight either, but I will be now because, <laughs> um, I can't really wear these original weight ones without, um, some moleskin or something underneath my, uh, underneath my, um, Foot just to make sure that I don't get major blisters happening there. Um, so there is a store apparently in Tel Aviv that sells in Jinji socks. Um, they don't ship to Israel, I don't think, from what I can tell on their website. And so I'm approaching Tel Aviv. I should be there tomorrow. Um, I'm going to have to figure out a way to get into the store and um, actually I have to call them first and find out if they carry the uh, the original weight socks that I want and um, then hopefully I can resupply on socks otherwise I'm just going to have to use some regular darn tufts or something um, which I have an, an extra pair which was going to be my sleep socks but now may have to be hiking socks but I'm not looking forward to just wearing the regular socks with uh, hiking, um, but hopefully they'll be okay because that may be all I got.